Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on OFM software. And in this video, we will learn how to import the database from the database file, the Microsoft Access file to OFM. All right. In the previous video, we have created the database at the Microsoft Access. And now we will import the database into the OFM. You see, we have this tables, the header ID, the unique ID, the well bore, the alias, the block, the formation, the type of the well, and also the coordinates. We have also injection data per well per month, monthly water injected volume, and uh, cumulative water injection. And for the production, we have the well, the field, the date, the oil production rate, liquid production rate, water production rate, and others. All right. Okay, so from here, from the access, we will go to the OFM. All right. All right, now we are inside the OFM. We click this one. All right, now we have this window, new OFM workspace. And we have the directory for workspace file and also for the database. The folder or the space or the place inside our computer at which we store the database file should be the same folder at which we will store the workspace file, okay? So we have workspace file, the OFM file, and we also have the database file, the Microsoft Access file, all right? And we have this selections. How do you want to define your workspace? Use a template, design it interactively, create it from the data source specified below, link to shared workspace, prompt for project filter, limit the number of completions during a session, all right? For this one, we select design it interactively, all right? We'll design it interactively. And now the main thing is the workspace file directory and also the database directory. Okay, click this one. All right. Okay. The folder at which I keep my database file is actually here. Okay. So I will open it. Okay. And I will make the OFM file name the same as the name of my database file, all right? So now the OFM will automatically see or detect the database file from which it will take the data. Okay, so I hope that's clear. So I will make a name for my OFM file, for my workspace file, the same with the name of my database file, all right? This one, all right? So you can see this is the name for my OFM file, for my workspace file, files of type project files .ofm. But as you can see here, right, like this one, this is actually the name of the database, OFM underscore engman dot mdb. This is the file, the database file, the Microsoft Access file, right? So they have the same name for OFM file and also for the database file. And OFM can detect automatically the database from which it will take the data, okay? So we click okay. Here we have the directory for workspace file and also for the database file. Click okay. All right, now we are inside the OFM data analysis platform, master XY table. Do you wish to use header ID as the OFM master XY table? Yes. All right, this is important. Edit schema tables, the workspace, my workspace, which is actually the OFM underscore engman dot OFM, the file of the workspace, the OFM file. And here, OFM underscore engman dot MDB, the database. All right, the database, the database file, OFM underscore engman dot mdb and here we have three tables the header id 
the injection and the production. Okay, select all three. You will have this one, this three, this three for header ID, this three for injection. All right, first we need to define this one for injection. OFM definition, the table type is actually open the drop down menu monthly. Okay, so we have some selections static, static data, monthly, daily data, hourly, minute, second, sporadic, and others. All right, for injection data, the data type is actually monthly data. So select this one. Auto associate fields, OFM has guessed at the following OFM key associations. Do you wish to use them? Unique ID to unique ID day to date? Yes. All right, the key type, completion. All right, because I have the data for my injection data for each completion or for each well. All right, this is for the table. Fields, we can leave it as it is. Data range also, okay. Header ID, okay, keep it as it is. Lastly, production, add an existing table. To include production in the project, select the OFM table type, select the OFM key type, and number three, choose OFM key fields. Click on the field in either the tree view or the fields tab, list view to make it a key, okay? Continue, yes. Okay, now we have a new tree, production tree for table type. Production is also for monthly, monthly data. Key type, the OFM has guessed that the production data is actually for each completion. Okay, that's why we have automatically completion. Okay, we can also have well bore, foreign, or entity. In this case, we select completion. And inside the production tree, we have unique ID, table, oil rate, liquid rate, and others as per our database. All right. So lastly, we can click OK. Now we will wait for the system to be ready.